How's it going, everyone? As I said, today we were going to have a little bit of a faster video turnaround. Um, I haven't found a lot of time to publish a lot of these videos, but today I decided to make two, so enjoy. Uh, so today we're gonna be looking at the Sunbeam F1 and the Light Phone 2, a little bit of a comparison between the two, uh, and hopefully it helps you choose the device that's best for you. Uh, so as you see right here, uh, they both have a lot of tools. Uh, so phone tools, alarm clocks, calendars, notes, flashlight, um, sound recorder, music, navigation, weather, uh, a lot of things. Uh, this one has hotspot. So that's one thing that this one has over the Sunbeam F1. So if you need hotspot, definitely this is the one that you should get or maybe consider some of the other devices that I have compared. Um, but as you see right here, uh, you also have navigation in both of them. Uh, you have the directions tool, uh, which, you know, kind of have different um, functionalities. And I'll, I'll touch on those uh, depending on what you need. Uh, this one, of course, is a flip phone device. So as you see right here, flip. And of course, this one's a touchscreen device, a little bit more minimalistic, but it kind of appeals to the same crowd if you want to minimize and change a little bit of your lifestyle uh, fully. Uh, so let's look at messaging first. Uh, so let's look at how it works uh, and a couple of like things that are very similar and other things that are not. Um, so as you see right here, I'm going to just, this is texting my wife. So the Light Phone 2 uh, allows you to go into uh, kind of like a QWERTY keyboard. The Sunbeam F1 has different modes. So if you press the star key right here, it will give you a QWERTY keyboard. It will give you a T9. It will give you ABC, one, two, three, emoji symbols, et cetera, et cetera. I just got a text message probably from this one. If I go to QWERTY, it will bring the um, ability to type in here. And I believe they don't have swipe. So hola right there. And as you see, it tells you right there. Okay. It's pretty typable and right here, uh, very similar on the Light Phone 2. You have the ability to use the QWERTY keyboard. Uh, so you have both options right there. But of course, with the uh, Sunbeam F1, you also have a keyboard that you can use. And as you see right there, I'm typing hello. And my name is, you know, my name is and my name is Jose. And right there, of course, you have hello, my name is and I typed out it on the keyboard. Uh, you also have triple click if you prefer triple click without looking and you don't want to deal with the predictive text messages. You can also change it to uh, ABC right there, one, two, three emojis, symbols, things of that nature. Uh, which is very helpful. They both send group text messages and they both have great also voice to text engines. So for example, right now I am going to speak into the microphone and hopefully they get the idea and as you see they're transcribing everything i say and boom you have it right there um you have the ability to do voice to text in both of these devices and of course if you want to change a couple things in here or there you can also copy paste from the light phone or you know if, if something was messed up you know you will have the ability to delete it uh so you have voice to text in both devices which is very helpful um i would say the sunbeam f1 has more functionality in the text message interface because you also have a camera so even though it's not the best camera in the world you also have a camera which can attach media at a sub subject, uh, quick reply, uh, delete conversations, unmute the conversation, things of that nature. So you have kind of like two different philosophies around uh, these devices. Uh, so now we are going to, let me put this a little bit down so it doesn't ring in case I get a phone call or something like that. Um, so right there, they both have do not disturb mode as well. So if you don't want to be disturbed, you also have that ability. Uh, let's continue with the tour. So you have the alarm clocks right here. I uh, have both of these set up for 5 a.m. This one you can tap and you can repeat it daily. This one you can uh, enable and disable and you also have the option to edit it. And if you edit it, you also have right there repeat which days you want to repeat it, the sound uh, and vibrate. You can customize the sound uh, for this one on the settings as well. Uh, so very similar, very, uh, you know, it's the parity right there. You both have a calculator. Of course, this one's a uh, touch interface. Uh, this one is mainly with the buttons, uh, but they will get the job done for simple calculations, things of that nature. Uh, when it comes to notes, you have both the ability to do a voice reminder. So right here, if I want to do a voice reminder right there, I can do a voice reminder. I can save it. Uh, let me see. Uh, options, back, voice reminder, uh, add right there. Let's see, hopefully, remind sound, subject, no content, save, 
edit. I don't know why it's not allowing me to to do this. But uh, either way, uh, you have the ability to do the voice reminder in both. Uh, and right there, I'm recording. I don't know why the Sunbeam of One is failing at it. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, this is interesting. Um, but you have the voice recorder here or sound recorder, which again, very similar functionality. So as you see right there, I think this is where the voice reminder goes. So if I'm, um, I'm kind of like doing it, uh, it will, it, it will kind of like do it. So voice quality high, and we're going to, uh, record right here. Uh, I think that's where it goes. I think that's, that's where the file goes. If, if I remember correctly, but you have, again, I'm recording right here for both. And whenever I'm done. Uh, I can save it and it'll probably show up here in the voice reminder area if I remember correctly. So boom, right there, I saved um, both. So you have the ability to do both, uh, you know, after a little while. Uh, so we go back to the menu. Uh, you also have notes, written notes, which again, right there, you have the ability to do notes. Same thing with the light phone too. You create a note, you name it, you do whatever, whatever you, you need to do. Uh, flashlight, it's only on the Sunbeam F1 since this one has a camera and a flashlight. The Lifephone 2 doesn't have that. Uh, you can also do the camera and of course that's uh, very similar. For music right here, um, you have the interface and this one is a little bit more robust. I don't personally use this because this is my work phone. So uh, this one has the albums and more dividers. This one is just one big playlist essentially and you kind of have to do it on your own uh, if you want to switch it back and forth. The Lightphone team has acknowledged this and they say that they're working on uh, improving the, the music tool. So for the future, it'll probably be a little bit better. Uh, let's go back and continue. Now we have our navigation. Uh, so for our directions, you have the ability to get located by the GPS. They're actually both using the same engine here maps, but there is a couple of niceties here on the Sunbeam F1. So on the Sunbeam F1, you can download the maps and always have them for offline mode. The Light Phone 2 also has an offline mode uh, and it downloads a certain general area. But for this, you can download pretty much anything you want from South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, things like that. So you have more customization for uh, for this one. For offline mode on the Light Phone 2, you can put both directions and then it will give you a list of steps to follow. Same uh, with this one. They both have also turn by turn, although I will say that the Sunbeam F1 is more reliable and has more consistent turn by turn than the light phone too. They're both better outdoors than indoors. As you see, they're both trying to locate me. And I would say, again, I will give the winner to the Sunbeam F1 in this particular category. So if you rely on maps, it's a little bit better on this side than on the light phone too, but the light phone still works and it'll give you step-by-step -step on how to get from point A to point B. Now this one has weather, which is a little bit extra, you know, um, customization on the Sunbeam F1. You also have sync, things of that nature. And of course you have your updates. Both devices do get a lot of updates. Now for feature specific, this one has weather, right? The uh, Sunbeam F1 and the Light Phone 2 has podcasts. So if you want podcasts or that's something that's very important to you, uh, right there, you can play your podcast. Whereas with the Sunbeam F1, you will have to load it via your computer. Uh, again, these are both excellent devices and they both really work. Um, I think one also advantage with the Sunbeam F1 is that you have the ability to do the voicemail and this one doesn't call you, uh, but rather if somebody leaves you a voicemail right there, a bunch of numbers kind of like showed up, uh, you also have the ability to get it transcribed if you're using it on Verizon. So you have that visual voicemail, uh, whereas on the light phone, you will have to call to your phone number or whatever your carrier provided phone number is, which again, it's doable and it's fine, but it's not the same experience as having that extra nicety right here. Um, if there are any questions that you have about these devices or any of the other devices I have reviewed, make sure to put them in the comments below. I'll be interacting with you guys. And if you have kind of like a more in-depth uh, conversation about these two devices, uh, please let me know. Uh, both companies are very open, very responsive, and they will answer your questions. So I really support both of these companies. If you want to buy either of these devices, there are links in the description below uh, and also in the pinned comment. Uh, and when you buy, just full disclosure, I do get a little bit of a kickback. Um, so thank you for that. If you decide to buy through my link, I thank you for that because you're supporting the channel. Again, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope it was helpful to you. And again, thanks for uh, your viewership. Hopefully this channel adds value to your life.
Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.